Senator, thank you for that nice introduction. Uh, it's really great to be with you here this weekend and to see so many great Democrats in one room, ready to go, ready to fight, ready to win. Yeah. Right? Right. Yes. All right. So listen, I stand before you as someone who has lived the American dream, and I'm so grateful for the opportunities this, this amazing country has given me. It gave me the opportunity to learn and get a great education and be the first in my family to go to college. It gave me the opportunity to be an entrepreneur and a business builder and create thousands of jobs and get an award from the Obama administration for the work we did in disadvantaged communities. Right? You gotta invest in communities. I always used to say in business, unless someone invests, nothing happens. And we need more investments in so many communities around this country, and I know how to do it. The opportunity to serve my country in the Congress of the United States and fight for kids like myself who grew up in working families and need a shot, need an opportunity. And most importantly, the opportunity to be blessed with an amazing family, happily married for 29 years, and four daughters that I'm so proud of. But my story is just getting so much harder these days. Young people today will be the first generation of Americans that don't actually do better than their parents. Think about that, the first generation ever. We're leaving them debts they can't repay, fiscal debts, climate debts. We're leaving them a world where half of the American people can't afford a $500 expense, where 40% of hardworking Americans can't afford their basic necessities, like their rent, their food, their utilities. How did this happen? Well, it's really simple. The world changed really fast. Technology and globalization, all the stuff we talk about, all the stuff we read about, has caused so many in our country to be left behind. And we didn't do the basic things we should have done a long time ago to prepare them for this world and invest in them and invest in their communities. And that was our failure. A responsible nation would have created a universal health care system a long time ago. Absolutely. That's what a responsible nation would have done. A responsible nation would have looked at the condition of hardworking Americans and said, we're going to do tax policy that helps you and double the earned income tax credit and raise the minimum wage and create paid family leave. These are the kind of things you do if you put the worker at the center of your agenda. A responsible nation would have built infrastructure, trillions of dollars of infrastructure that so many of our communities need. We would have done that a long time ago. We would have reformed our immigration system. On issue after issue, we have let the American people down. So I don't think what the American people need is more gridlock, more partisanship, or more ideology. You know what I think they need? They need solutions. They need us to get real things done that matter in their lives. Which is, which is why I believe in what I call the politics of progress. Sure, we should have a battle of ideas. Sure, we should debate the big issues of the day. But what we also need to do is roll up our sleeves and get things done. Get things done that matter to hard-working Americans. You know, my dad was an electrician. He worked with his hands every day. We didn't have any complicated political discussions at the dinner table, except for one thing that he, I bet he told me a thousand times. He said, if you care about workers, you vote for the Democrats. That was our party, and we got to get back to that. We got to be the party that puts forth common sense solutions, not impossible promises, where we can actually get real things done that matter to the American people. Like do things to create jobs in every community. Do things to invest in infrastructure in every community. Do things to boost wages in every community. Create a universal health care system. Improve public education so that every kid, no matter the condition of their birth, gets the same educational opportunities as every young person in this country. These are the kind of things that have to become the true north of this amazing party of ours. And I'm 
running for president to be the person who can get those things done. Things that matter to the American people. You know, in 1958, John F. Kennedy gave a speech when he was a senator. And he said, we should not seek the Republican answer. We should not seek the Democratic answer. We should seek the right answer. He went on to say, we should not seek to fix blame for all the problems of the past. We could sit here all day and point fingers. But what we should do is own our responsibility for our future as Americans. That's where the Democratic Party has to be. I don't want to just be your president to be your president. I want to be your president to do the job. To do the job. And the job of the President of the United States in 2020 is to take this terribly divided nation where American has been pitted against American and start bringing it back together and reminding us of this notion of common purpose which is worth fighting for every day of our lives. And when we do that, we can start getting real things done that matter. We can start solving problems and we can fulfill our most sacred responsibility, which is to leave this world better than we found it. And we can do it, but we have to do it together. And it is the calling of the Democratic Party, and that's why I'm seeking the presidency of the United States. Thank you for having me. God bless South Carolina.